young couple expecting their first child had to call KUSI's Michael Turco about a big mess inside their apartment. They say they were told construction work there would take a week. Turco says that was almost a month ago. Here's another case where apartment tenants are getting a raw deal inside their homes. Major renovation going on in this case, but the tenants are supposed to live there while it's taking place. They say for almost a month now, they've been living in the middle of a work zone. Plumbers here in El Cajon are replacing old plastic pipes with copper. They have to tear out the walls to do it, and the tenants were given no choice. Both bathrooms here have been torn up for three weeks. They came in and they did their thing Monday through Friday, and then they didn't finish it up, and so we thought, well, maybe they'll just come back on Monday and patch things up. But she says the work continued for another solid week. They told us that if I needed to take a shower and we didn't have running water, that I would have to go into an empty apartment in the complex that they, they kept as a communal apartment where people could take showers if their water was turned off. But I don't pay $1,100 a month to pack up a suitcase and go take a shower in an empty apartment when I'm seven months pregnant. Most of the new pipes are in now, but the walls were left open for inspectors. Put a nail right into the pipe there. How long did they tell you this was going to take? They told us it was going to take one week. And it's been? And it is now we're in week four. And she says for over a week now they haven't come back and done any work at all. And they're living here with drywall dust, wood shavings, insulation hanging out of the walls. And they're still not sure if it's safe to drink the water. At the worst point, there were chunks of drywall coming out of the tap water. And what was their solution to that? Um, they left us a case of bottled water at our door. And said use that? Yeah. The water's gotten a little better, but I don't know what else it could have in it that I can't see. Just because I can't see it doesn't mean it's not in there. So I head for the main office here at the Parkway Club Apartments. On the way, I meet other tenants who say they've had enough. We're just leaving before they do ours, so that's all I know. Inside the office, the manager says tenants were told the work could take a total of 14 working days. That's three weeks. The way I see it is we haven't been able to use half of our apartment for a month. Therefore, you know, maybe half of our rent should be compensated for the month or something. Some effort to compensate us other than just bottled water and go take a shower in some other apartment. You can't refund any of their rent. No. No. Has that been discussed? That's not, a, that's not a decision I would make. But we have gone out of our way to make sure that we have, you know, a place for them to stay if anybody wants to stay. We have a bed set up in an apartment. That's the best you can do. Um, yes. I wasn't even upset the first week. But now? But now we're into week four and this is getting absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Well, the management tells me they're trying to get the work done as quickly as possible. It should be finished in another week or two. How about that? And how long has it been since workers have even been there? It's been about three weeks since they started, and, and, and the tenants tell me it's been at least a week since anybody came and did any work in their apartment. It's supposed to be inspected. You saw the, the pipe there with not one, but four nails in, it, in the pipe. Right. So uh, nobody really knows exactly how long it's going to take to get this done. And if they haven't been there in a week, they're not trying that hard to get it done. It's just clear. That's outrageous. It yeah. really is. Thank you, Mike. Thanks. Anna Nicole Smith makes...